Hello, welcome. I'm Nicole Crane, and today I'm going to be talking about Extraordinary, which is my new men's coaching program. Uh, I'll get into some details a little bit later, but first of all, I want to start with um, why men's coaching is so important. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in because I like conciseness in live streams. Um, so it seems like a lot of men feel lost in society because there are a lack of male role models um, who aren't toxic and harmful. Um, I would love to hear if you disagree, if you have any examples of um, men's communities that you find support in, I would love to hear those, so please comment below. Um, <clears throat> but unlike women who, due to the changes in society and our role in it, like women entering the workforce and women's liberation, all these changes that have happened mainly in the past hundred years or so, um, men have had pretty similar expectations on them for hundreds of years. So there haven't been as many opportunities for men to rediscover or choose to shape the role that they're expected to play in society like women have kind of been um, forced to do um, like in the context of family in society and even in the bedroom also there's sort of an alienation happening um, where like the older generations are suddenly expected to keep up with rapidly changing so social norms. Um, Middle-aged men uh, are experiencing a huge shift in around uh, what it means to be a father or a husband and um, what it means to be a man for you through the societal lens. And then for the younger generations, this is happening because a lot of the former markers of what used to define manhood, like uh, serving your country in the military, being a warrior, belonging to a village or a tribe, um, have become kind of obsolete in most cases, right? So men of every age have a lot of distractions competing for your attention, like um, social media, video games, during COVID times, the popularity of like Twitch events or other live streamed events and even online porn. So these keep, especially the younger men, from being physically active in the ways that um, used to be really common in earlier forms of society. So especially for teens and young adult men, this results in not having a healthy outlet for those huge hormonal changes that used to fuel battle, hunting, or even like in more recent times, um, just like sports. So. A lot of times this can result in pent-up energy that is easily turned into aggression or anger or violence, which also tend to be more like modern societally accepted um, ways of expressing emotion, right? Um, it feels like from an outside perspective, and correct me if I'm wrong, that this is the only way that um, men are really encouraged in our society to express emotion is through anger or violence or aggression. So the lack of resources for men to gather together without women to discuss their frustrations and what's going on for them and even to share ways that have worked for them in the past and to like kind of pass on some of this like wisdom that comes from like uh, lived experience and to kind of create modern traditions, this lack of having that puts them at a disadvantage to their female woman counterparts who typically have quite a few spaces where they share this kind of information with each other. So this lack of communication, community, and role models makes it really hard to develop healthy sexuality because many young men are getting all of their sexual education from porn. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not against porn, but it is an introduction that usually lacks connection with your partner, whether it's because you are masturbating solo to porn without the presence and the feedback of a partner, or 
also because many of the popular depictions in porn don't show a lot of communication, don't focus on mutual pleasure, or healthy foreplay techniques. So in my opinion, this leaves a big gap where many men are fairly sexual, uh, sexually active, right? Um, but there is a lack of information that supports healthy exploration, that supports confidence, and for searching for your deeper pleasure and happiness, and that of your partner if you currently have one. So I'm here to start filling in some of those gaps so that you can start choosing for yourself what feels best, how to deepen your sexual sensitivity, and how to tap into and even harness your sexual creative energy in a sustainable way. So this leaves us with a lot of questions, like what does an integrated modern man look like as a leader or as a lover? So having the opportunity to ask yourself these questions and devoting time and energy to fleshing out the answers for yourself is a huge gift not only to yourself, but also a wonderful contribution to society by bringing a deeper level of consciousness to these parts of your life. So it seems like there's currently so much pressure, even within like the spiritual and new age communities that I'm involved in, for men to be like alpha and to show up as hyper masculine. And I'd like to offer a different perspective um, where you have the tools to connect to your authentic, uh, authenticity and freedom and where you are allowed to redefine manhood for yourself. So these are the kinds of tools that I teach you and help you practice in Extraordinary. So letting you decide who you are at your core and also who you want to be going forward um, helps to carry society into the future in a way that's in alignment with your values and your vision. So I want to recognize that most men don't have many spaces to turn to where you receive guidance on relationships, your sexuality, marriages, um, your ability to feel emotional intimacy or love. And a big misconception going around is that men are fine, that you're doing okay without this, and that you don't need any support. <laughs> I don't always get like emotional in live streams, but that really bums me out, to be honest. Um, because just having that in my life with other women is just, it's been so powerful, and I want that for everyone. So I want to start normalizing this, because a lot of men are in so much pain they don't have safe spaces to share these feelings and these experiences. I see this so much in my day job that men aren't used to being heard and they're willing to pay hundreds of dollars just to be seen and to be heard. So to have a safe place to go within, to feel and to engage in this level of work and transformation is so, so super important. As a whole, we can't achieve true societal evolution without men. Without men, the way that we have sex, the way that we raise our children, the way that we relate to each other, and the way that we love can't have any lasting change. So, <laughs> oh, if you're watching, take a deep breath. Oh, yeah. So, as a community, I would like to invite all of us to welcome this kind of evaluation and this level of um, self-evaluation within men, to normalize it, to encourage it, to create safe spaces for it. Um, if you missed the beginning of this video, if you have any resources on healthy communities for men, I would love to have more resources to share because I feel like um, there is so much pressure to conform to these outdated, harmful, unnecessary societal norms. Like 
being a woman looks like this and being a man looks like this not only is that really harmful for both men and women but then like where do non-binary people fit in that scheme of things so the thing that i love about this work is that um well okay i'll come back to that thought in a second what i love about this work is that it is very personal the answer for one person is not going to look like the answer for another person and so it's so important to do that deep dive and that deep evaluation and that deep self-discovery where you allow whatever you discover to be allowed you encourage it you love it you embrace it you celebrate it and anything that you find there is permitted so if you can do that on your own I would encourage you to do that as much as possible regardless of your gender identity um, and if you need some help I am deeply honored to guide individuals of any gender as well through this process so um, this is the thing that I wanted to <laughs> come talk about a second ago but um, the reason that I'm focusing on men for the next six weeks is not only because I've never worked with men or I've never spoken openly about working with men before, even though um, some of my earliest clients have been men in coaching. And um, I had the deep honor of um, doing some of my certification work with men. So that's one reason. But another reason is that um, full disclosure and the reason that I have to host these um, live streams within a group and not just on my regular page is because we do talk about sex. Um, I am a sex coach as well as being a love and relationship coach. But I would say that like the first, I put it at the beginning because firstly I am a sex coach and that is my passion and sexual liberation for all people is my passion. And so since sex is typically so genitally focused, um, a lot of the practices do focus on the genitals. So there is a wide difference. Well, it's not as wide as you think, but there are differences obviously between um, penis oriented anatomy versus vulva oriented anatomy. So usually when I'm talking about like women's programs or men's programs, a lot of that is based on genitalia. So if you don't fit into the gender binary, I would encourage you to connect with and love your genitalia and if the language around gender is like super 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 triggering um, I would love for you to let me know because not everyone wants to embrace their current set of genitals um, and I know that that can be really harmful to be encouraged to do so so if there is um, interest and need for a non-binary um, program as well. I would love to spearhead that. Um, if there's not any interest, then of course, um, these days I'm embracing laziness and uh, I'm doing a huge energetic and practice detox where I'm cutting out everything that's not absolutely essential and I'm starting over and rebuilding a lot of things to cut out a lot of outdated programming for myself. And a lot of that is regarding, um, masculine feminine polarity and at the same time since so much of my work and so much of the things that I've studied are based on like nerve endings which happened to in especially like uh, pussy oriented bodies be so focused in the genitals like the clitoris has like I think it's like over 8,000 nerve endings or something so um, since so much of my work is based around these specifics and embracing and cultivating and just really like lavishing so much attention and love and adoration and acceptance to these parts of ourselves who largely in society have been shamed, um, censored, um, and like there's this huge disconnect from our genitals, right? So a huge part of my work is reconnecting to our penises, to our pussies, to our clitorises, to our perineums, to our anuses, like all these pink bits that have tons and tons of amazing 
wonderful nerve endings, right? So <laughs> hopefully I haven't lost you. But um, so in that vein, I actually don't have the sales page for the men's program created yet, but I do have the one for one-on-one -on -one coaching, which applies to everyone basically. Um, and that gives you the gist of like what men's coaching is about when you boil it down to its essence. So I'm popping that in the comments and, um, for the next two weeks for the first two clients that sign on. Um, so this offer is going to expire by midnight on May 17th. So, um, I'm doing $2,000 packages. So it's 10 sessions. Um, I'm aiming for by tomorrow at midnight, having my sales page up and running for the men's coaching. So I'll pop that in the comments and I'll probably do like a separate post here in Deeper Love Academy about that page being available. Um, and it'll give you kind of like more of a breakdown on uh, the topics that we'll cover in each of the sessions to create a little more safety around signing up for that. But um, if you want to schedule a discovery call, the information um, to do that is in that link for the one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, so I would love to do that. And, um, and if you're just ready to jump in, then uh, contact me and I'll send you the link for payment and we'll just get you signed up ASAP. Um, but I would love to do a 45 minute discovery call with you. If you're kind of on the fence, you're not sure if this is a good fit for you. Um, and we'll just go through a, a really gentle process that not only gives you an idea of what working with me feels like, um, because we do kind of go through a process. It's not exactly a coaching process, but it's very similar to a coaching process. Um, it's a, a more gentle, slightly less deep version of coaching. So um, it's something that we can just jump right into without any kind of like onboarding or anything like that. Um, so that you get a taste of what it's like to work with me. And I also get a taste of what it's like to work with you and um, get an idea of if we're compatible compatible for this type of work. Okay. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, pop it in the comments. And um, by next week, um, I'm going to do another live stream next Monday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. And I hope to have some um, men's communities collected because I want to add as much value and benefit to this lecture mini series as possible, even if you're not available um, energetically or financially to sign up to do coaching with me. Um, yep, yeah, that feels complete. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm sending you so much love and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Mwah. See you soon. Let's chat soon. Bye.